All right, thank you so much, Papa Jojo, for always giving us fitness techniques every morning. We want to make you day cardiac, we want to make your body day cardiac, we want to make you live longer. That's why Papa Jojo, they always give you some kind of skills them to make that fat way there for your body and burn. Apart from that, if you're not best way they slim, you talk say you don't need to burn any fat. Well, you need to make sure say, oh, your body they cardiac. Not be said they'll tell you one day to run, just to run a few miles and then you go start to the pants. So please um, work out. Now, time for us to play you this documentary where we'll be actually get consigning the physically challenged um, for inside Wobodo, Nigeria. As we talk, we get millions of Nigerians and where they live with disability, different forms of disability. And some of the basic things that they're supposed to get to make life day very easy and uh, very happy for them, for inside Nigeria, they not actually get them. Well, make we watch this particular documentary. My name is um, Mohamed Aoudou from Kogi State. I'm a coach, Lagos State wheelchair basketball, and uh, I'm a member of the Nigeria wheelchair basketball board as player representatives. My name is Drew Jutaiwu. A wheelchair basketball player. I'm from your state. Um, in our family, I'm fifth position in our family. I came from a family of uh, six. I'm the firstborn of my family. And the name of my family is uh, Aodu Ame from Kogi State. I choose wheelchair basketball because I love wheelchair basketball. Before I have an accident, then I choose, but I've been playing basketball with able people. Then ever since I like, I, uh, ever since I joined we on, Able basketball. One day, a wheelchair basketball coach called me. Then it's come and join wheelchair basketball, and I feel like how am I going to play wheelchair basketball? I don't have four hand, but practice make perfect. With practice, then I learn how to play basketball. The disability code is that uh, some of them are polio, some of them are amputee, some of them are um, maybe most of most of the people playing wheelchair basketball are, are polio, polio and. And put players. We used to bet ourselves because uh, wheelchair basketball is a contact sport. We contact ourselves very well. So in view of that, we have to protect ourselves by belt the body to the wheelchair. It's not been easy because uh, wheelchair basketball, the wheelchair is very expensive and for us to get a wheelchair is a very difficult tax. Uh, you know, coming to training every day with the situation in the country now is a very difficult situation. So we like need uh, wheelchairs to facilitate our playing game. Most of the team, the players you see here represent Nigerian. They've been playing in the All African Games, they've been playing in the African qualifiers and they are still preparing to represent Nigeria in the All-African game coming up in Morocco next January. And from what they do here is what they use to maybe keep themselves going, maybe keep a living. We need support, like uh, the Lagos State government has been supporting some of our players who have been representing Lagos State. Lagos State has a team, and Lagos State has been giving us a whole lot of support, giving us grants and what and uh, wheelchairs to do the, the game. But we still need more support from uh, an individuals or the state himself. We need uh, wheelchairs, we need jerseys, we need balls, we need playing materials like uh, the belts and one or two things that can keep the, the game going. My advice for our government is to just look our side, a wheelchair basketball. We have been playing with this wheelchair basketball for long, like 2000. 
we will represent Nigeria outside Olympic qualifier, Nations Cup, then under 23 World Cup. Ever since we join, we'll be traveling like that. Ever since we'll be traveling like that, no sponsor and no government, no government will look our side. They should do something for which basketball so that our game can step up like this. My advice for people in disability, they can do. They can make a one number one in the world. Maybe they should come around, come and play wheelchair basketball, or wheelchair tennis, or table tennis. Or they should just come around. If, if they come around stadium, they would like to join one sport. My advice to other disabled persons in our society is that being disabled is not the end of the world. You can achieve a whole lot from joining our sports, playing wheelchair basketball. We have eight international players from this floor who are playing in France. They are from this floor. So you cannot just keep yourself at home just because you are disabled, that you have a whole lot to do and you can achieve. In fact, if I'm coming to the next world, I have to come as a disabled person because I'm enjoying myself as a disabled person. And I've achieved a lot. I've traveled worldwide. For not for the sake of disabled, I hardly travel worldwide. And now with the disabilities, I play wheelchair basketball, I represent the Nigerians, and I travel wherever I want to go around the world. So I feel great. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.